Hi, my name is Chris Anderson. I am a Doctor of Science student in epidemiology here at the Harvard Chan School of Public Health. And my work is on uh, the interactions between malnutrition and infectious diseases. To give a bit of background on uh, how I got here, um, how my interests developed to be what they are, uh, I'll go back first to my undergraduate years. So I studied social work uh, as an undergraduate at the University of California, Berkeley. And during my time there, I um, volunteered at an agency that provided health services for people experiencing homelessness. And while I was there, I witnessed on a daily basis the hardship, uh, both in terms of physical and mental health, uh, the results from, from poverty and marginalization. And while I was witnessing this, you know, I felt very strongly that even though we often had very good intentions about what it is that we wanted to do to work alongside this, uh, people experiencing these conditions, uh, we didn't always necessarily know that what we were doing was maximally effective. And so I wanted to be able to think about quantifying, um, is what we're doing working? And that's not just the things that we were doing um, at a very proximal level, uh, like the, the clinical interventions, uh, but also those things at a more distal level, such as uh, the social and economic context uh, that people live their lives. So it was from this interest in being able to really measure uh, what was working well uh, that I moved towards epidemiology. I first spent two years working as a research assistant on epidemiologic studies and then went to doing my Master of Science in Epi, again at the University of California, Berkeley. During that time, I wanted to kind of pursue those interests that I had in work for disadvantaged populations. And so for my thesis, I studied the effect of a social protection program uh, for low-income families in Peru. And what I was interested in was whether or not this program, which provided um, health benefits, uh, income supplementation, but in exchange required that families uh, send their children to school and get uh, certain uh, basic standards of medical care, did this program um, provide measurable benefits uh, for the brain development and nutrition of, of the children that were living in these families? After I finished my master's degree, I then went uh, directly into the doctoral program at the Harvard School of Public Health. And my work is focused um, here on more clinical aspects among disadvantaged populations, uh, whereas before it was perhaps focused on uh, the more contextual factors. So now I work on malnutrition and its interaction with infectious diseases. Um, and examples of that include the treatment of iron deficiency among HIV patients in Sub-Saharan Africa, uh, as well as optimizing therapy for severely malnourished children. Along with the, the research work, I've also had the opportunity to uh, work in partnership with colleagues in Ethiopia. Uh, I spent uh, three months there uh, in this past year teaching. Um, and it's been a fantastic opportunity because at the same time that I feel uh, privileged to be able to bring uh, whatever training and experience I have uh, to the PhD students there, uh, and teach them maybe some statistical methods. Um, at the same time, they teach me just as much um, and I get a better familiarity for the issues that they're grappling with um, and also for the, the methods that they use to approach those issues. So I would say that the Harvard School of Public Health offers uh, phenomenal benefits for anybody who wants to study here. Um, one of those is that this is a school that is relentlessly engaged with current debates around public health um, and engaged with practice around public health. And so, for example, that could just be the thought leaders that come here to speak literally every day, um, or it could be the partnerships that the school has with leading organizations um, in public health. I, for example, am doing some of my work uh, with the research arm of Doctors Without Borders. So I feel that this environment is one that is always provoking me and one that is um, creating what I would call constructive friction, where I'm always being challenged um, and pushed, uh, but for a positive end. A second thing I would say uh, that I've really been satisfied with about this school is that it's one that really values a social justice framework in the practice of public health. And that goes all the way from the lab-based science work that happens here, 
all the way up to thinking about health policy and society. As somebody who personally wants my work to contribute both to science and to uh, helping promote health equity, that's something that's really valuable for me. So I would say that for anybody uh, who's watching this video and who sees your work in public health as being something that contributes to the broader effort of social justice, I think you'll find a tremendous community to support you here.